Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to design this button with a countdown timer. So here we can see we have this download button and if I click on the download button, we have this message over here which says your download link will appear in this many seconds. And then after that we have the download link displayed over here. Now here you can add the link of any page you want. So here you can add the link of your downloadable content. And we also have this animation for this icon when we start downloading this content. So this is what we're going to design in this tutorial series and in the first video I'll just show you how to design this using HTML and CSS and in the next video I'll show you how to make it work using JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called countdown button and let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html. And let's create a CSS file, I'll just name it style.css. And let's also create a JavaScript file, let's name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML file code. Right here in the head section let's link our CSS file, so let's tap link and press tab. And in the HTML file just tap style.css. And in the body let's link the JavaScript file, so let's tap script, call an src and press tab. And in the src, I'll just tap main.js. Right now, let's start with the HTML of this uh, button. Now, before starting with the design, I just want to mention that an advanced user can go ahead and skip the timer by changing the JavaScript. Because we are adding the timer using JavaScript in the client side. So, the user can go ahead and change the JavaScript. Right now, let's go back to our HTML and let's start by creating a container division. So, let's create a division with the class of download button container. And in that we will have a button and let's give it a class of download button. And inside the download button let's have this text of download. And after that we also need to have this icon. So for the icon I'm going to use heroicons.com. And here let's search for down. And we have this icon called arrow down. So let's copy this uh, icon from here. Let's copy the SVG. And let's go back and paste it in the HTML. So for that let's create a span. And let's give it a class of download icon. And let's paste the SVG over here. Alright that's it with the download button. Now let's go ahead and add the content of this heading and also the link. So we need to have an S3 for this heading. And we'll have an anchor tag for this link. So let's go back and uh, let's go outside this button and let's create a division with the class of download info and in that we will have an S3 and uh, let's type your download link will appear in 5 seconds and after that we will have the link so for now let's create an anchor tag over here. And here in the href you can just add the link of the downloadable content. I'll just type hash for now. And uh, let's also give it a class. So let's give it a class of download link. And here I'll just type click here. Now later we'll go ahead and delete this anchor tag from here and we'll generate this anchor tag using JavaScript. But for now let's keep it for styling. All right, that's basically it with the HTML. Now let's go ahead and start writing the CSS. Before that let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see we have all the content displayed over here. Right now let's go ahead and start styling this. First of all let's target the download button container. So let's type dot download button container. And let's set the width to 100% and we'll also set a max width property and let's set it to 600 pixels. Right now let's add a background color and let's set it to light gray. And let's bring it to the center so let's type margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And I think we can add a little bit of margin at the top and the bottom as well. So here let's type 24 pixels. Now let's give it a padding of 16 pixels. 
and let's also set the text align to the center so let's type text align center now let's set the font family to Montserrat so first of all let's get the link of the font so here I'm in fonts.google.com and you can just search for the font over here so I'll just type Montserrat and let's click on this font and we need to get the font styles of 300 light 300 and also bold 700 so let's select this and let's click on this button called view selected families and we have these two fonts selected over here let's go ahead and copy the link so let's copy this link from here and let's go back to our HTML and let's paste it over here inside the head section Right now let's go back to our style.css file and let's set the font family to Montserrat and sans serif. Right now let's also add a border radius. So let's type border radius and let's set it to 10 pixels. So now we can see we have these rounded corners. Let's also add a box shadow. So let's type box shadow and let's set the values to inset 0 pixels, 10 pixels. 15 pixels, negative 3 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2 or let's set it to 0 0.1 right now let's style this download button so let's go back and uh, for the download button we have a class of download button so let's type download button container download button and first of all let's set the display to flex so that we have the text on the left and the icon on the right so let's type display of flex and uh, now we cannot see the icon so we have to set a width for the icon so let's go back and uh, let's go to the HTML file and for the icon we have this class of download icon so let's target that let's type download button container download icon and let's set the width to 16 pixels and let's also bring this to the center vertically so here in the download button let's tap align items to the center and let's set the width of the button to 200 pixels and let's bring this to the center so let's tap justify content to the center right now let's set the font family to Montserrat so let's type font family Montserrat and sans serif and let's set the font size to 16 pixels and let's set the font weight to 300 and let's set the text transform to uppercase and we'll also have some gap between these characters so let's type letter spacing and let's set it to 2 pixels right now let's set the background color of the button so let's type background and let's set it to EF233C and let's remove the border so let's type border and set it to none and we'll also add some padding so let's type padding and let's set it to 8 pixels and let's also set the cursor to pointer and let's set the color of the text to white so let's type color white and we'll also have a little bit of gap between this text and this icon so here I'll just type gap and let's set it to 8 pixels and now we need to bring this button to the center so for that let's go back to our download button container and we'll set the display of this to flex and we'll set the flex direction to column and uh, let's type align items to the center right now let's style this heading so let's go back and uh, for the heading we have an S3 inside the download info division so let's type download info S3 and we'll set the color of the text to 023047 and let's also decrease the margin bottom so let's type margin bottom and uh, let's set it to 12 pixels right now let's style this link so for the link 
we have an anchor tag with the class of download link. So let's type download info, download link. And uh, let's set the font size to 14 pixels. And let's set the text transform to uppercase. And we'll set the font weight to 300. And we'll set the color of the text to 023047. And let's set the letter spacing. So let's type letter spacing and let's set it to 4 pixels. And we'll also increase the gap between the underline and the text. So for that you have to type text underline offset and we'll set it to 5 pixels. Right, that's it with the download link. Now let's add the animation for this icon. Now the animation will play only when we start downloading. So when we click on this button, we will start having the animation for the icon. So here we can see in our original design, if I just refresh this, we can see that we don't have the animation right now. But if I click on the download button, we have the animation playing over here. So when we click on this download button, we will add a class to this uh, button and we'll just name it active. So when we have the active class inside the download button, we need to add the animation for this icon. So let's go back and uh, here let's type download button container, download button dot active. And in that we have the download icon. So let's type download icon. And uh, here we'll add the animation. So let's type animation. And let's name the animation bounce anim and we will have it for 700 milliseconds and we will have it for infinite amount of times and uh, alternate right now let's create this animation so here i'll just type at keyframes and we have named it bounce anim and here we need to add the frames of the animation now the first frame will be the default position here let's add the last frame so we can just type 100% or we can also type 2 and here let's type transform translate y and 4 pixels right now let's add the active class to the download button so let's go back to our html and let's scroll up and here for the download button let's type active and now we can see that the animation is being played for the download button Alright, let's remove the active class. Now let's go back and uh, by default we don't need to have this uh, heading and this link displayed over here. So we will set the height of this download info to zero by default. So let's go back and uh, let's target the download info division. So here I'll just type download info and let's set the height to zero. And uh, we'll set the overflow to hidden so that nothing outside the division is being displayed. And now we can see we don't have the download info displayed over here. Now when we have the active class, we will set a height to this download info. So let's type download button container, download button dot active. Now since the download info is adjacent to the download button, we need to add plus over here to select the download info. So let's type download info. And uh, let's set the height to 90 pixels. Right now let's add the active class. So here let's type active. And now we can see that we have the correct height for the download info and we also have this animation. And if we remove the active class from here, we don't have the download info displayed and we also don't have the animation. All right, so that's basically it with the design of our download button. And that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.